You've got an overview of what a tree is. Now it's time to focus on one in particular, the binary tree. They're the foundation for a lot of other tree structures and instrumental in many algorithms as well. Binary trees, like all trees, are made up of a hierarchical collection of nodes. And like all tree nodes, those nodes hold some data and keep track of their child nodes. What turns a tree into a binary tree is the simple constraint that each node can have, at most, two child nodes. And that is actually enough information to get us started. You now know that a tree is made up of nodes, so start by creating a binary node class. That's a generic type like the others you've implemented in this course. Remember that in all trees, nodes have a value. We've also told you the essential constraint of a binary tree. Each parent can have, at most, two child nodes. They're usually called the left child and right child, so create an optional variable for each. And we'll need an initializer to set value. To build a binary tree, all we need to do is create and connect a bunch of binary nodes. Jump over to binary tree test case .swift to do that. We'll create all of the nodes inside a closure, and they'll just contain some ints. Executing that closure defines a tree that looks like this. If you'd like a way to visualize your binary trees in the debugger, instead of having to draw them out, we've included a handy extension for you back in binarytree.swift. Jump back and uncomment that extension. And then back in the test class, print the tree's description. Open the debugger with Shift-Command-Y and find your tree diagram. Now we have a binary tree, but what can we do with it? How do we go through a tree like we might iterate through an array? Iterating through a tree is commonly referred to as traversal. Because trees aren't linear, like an array, traversing trees is a little more complicated than just going from left to right. Should nodes in the left have precedence? How should the depth of a node relate to its precedence? The answers to those questions will depend on the problem you're trying to solve. There are some general styles of traversal that can be used with any tree. Depth-first traversal starts at the root node and traverses all the way down one branch, visiting nodes as it goes, and exhausts that branch before backtracking. A level order traversal also starts at the root, but then visits all the nodes at each level before dropping down to the next level. There are also some traversal algorithms particular to binary trees, and the first one we'll implement is in-order traversal. You might think of traversing a tree like a ship sailing along the coast of a strangely shaped island. Each node is a port it might visit as it sails along, but it doesn't necessarily have to visit a port it passes. A traversal algorithm tells the ship what order to visit the nodes in. In our examples, each time the ship visits a node, it will record the value of that node in the ship's log. In-order traversal descends all the way down the tree and visits the nodes on the ascent, stopping at the left child then the parent, and then the right child. To visit the nodes in this tree using in-order traversal, our ship starts traveling from the root. Passes the first left child node, because that node still has a left child to explore, and moves down to that left child. Having moved all the way down to a leaf node, the ship visits that node with a value of zero, then sails on to visit its parent with a value of one, and finally, the ship exhausts this branch by visiting the right child and picking up five. 
Then the ship sails up the tree to visit the root node and records the value 7. Now it can traverse the right side of the tree. The first node it finds has a child, so it continues down to visit its left child and collects the value 8. The ship sails back up to visit 8's parent and records its value 9. This node has no right child, so the traversal is finished. Let's give that a try in code. Create an extension of binary node to store your traversal methods. And start the first one, traverse in order. It works like so. If the current node has a left child, recursively visit that child first. Then visit the node itself. And if the current node has a right child, recursively visit that child. To see if that's working, jump over to the test file. And in the traverse in order test, create an empty test array. Then use the traverse in order method to traverse the tree. And in the closure, append the value of each node to the test array. And finally, compare the test array to what you expect to see. You can use the diagram we made with the ship to create the expected result. Another type of traversal algorithm is pre-order traversal. This type of traversal always visits the current node first, then visits the left and right children recursively. Once again, you descend all the way down one side of the tree before heading back up to explore the other. In this type of traversal, the ship will always visit every node as it passes. To traverse this tree using pre-order traversal, our ship starts at the root node and records that value, 7. Then it sails down to visit the left child, 1, and continues down to the left to visit 0. Now it can visit 1's right child, 5. Then the ship travels back up to find the root's right child and visits 9. And finally, the ship visits the only child 9 has, 8. 8 has no children of its own, marking the end of this pre-order traversal journey. The method for pre-order traversal will use all of the same code, just in a different order. So start by copying traverse in order, pasting that just below, and renaming it traverse pre-order. As Jesse said, this algorithm visits the current node first, so move that call to visit to the top of the method. Then the left child is recursively visited, followed by the right child. These lines are in the correct order, so we just need to change the method name to Traverse Pre-Order. To test this one, head back to the test file, and copy the contents of the previous test into the next one. Change the method to Traverse Pre-Order, and update the expected result in the assertion. Again, we can refer to the diagram we made earlier. The last type of binary tree traversal we'll explore is post-order traversal. This one only visits a node after all of its children have been visited, starting with the left child. So our ship begins its final journey at 7 again, passes the first node, visits the leaf node there to record 0, then visits the right leaf node, 5. Now it can visit their parent and record its value, 1. The ship passes the root node again. It can't visit that root until all of the children have been visited. So it travels down past 9 to visit its left child, 8, and then sails up to visit 9 because 9 has no right child. And finally, visits the root node, 7. 7, being the root node, has no parents, so the post-order traversal journey is done. Again, all of the ingredients we need to implement a post-order traversal algorithm are already written. Make a copy of Traverse Pre-Order and change the name to Post-Order. 
In a post-order traversal, the current node is visited only after both of its children are visited. So move visit down to the bottom of the method. And we still want to visit the left child recursively before the right child, so the other two lines are in the right place. Just update the method called to traverse post order. And we're ready to test the last traversal algorithm. As you may have guessed, you can just copy the contents of the previous test and paste them into the test for traverse post order. Change the method to post order. And finally, update the expected result based on the diagram we made. And that's it! Three different ways to traverse your binary tree. While it may not be Earth Day in Swift, we still have plenty of trees to keep you occupied with. If you found this video useful and you want to know what other kinds of vegetation live in Swiftland, definitely give that subscribe button a press. See you next time.